Hello everyone and welcome back to Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes. My name is Winged Supernova. And in the last episode we went through all of our supports and these first three missions on the war map. And in this episode we are going to take out the rest of them, including the main mission. No matter how long this episode runs. This is going to be annoying though. We have a quest restriction on this map, which states that we can't use combat arts, magic, or vulneraries to heal during the battle. Uh, not that I ever heal to begin with, but the enemy level is 26, which is rather high for our units at the moment, so we'll see, we'll see how it works. Um, hopefully I don't have to spread my units thin because I don't trust the CPUs to not die. It looks like we just need to gain control of all strongholds, which is something that we should be able to do in a reasonable time, considering the small stature of the map, even if I pair people up. Uh, so Edelgard can take care of those guys, and who else? We got some sword users. And some priests. So we need Caspar. I'm going to have to change some of these units. Um, we'll bring Hubert out. So that... Actually, let's see. We know Ferdinand, Ferdinand is going to... Go ahead. Who else? Who else needs it? Monica wants to be in. We can do that. And we probably want... Caspar in. Okay. So here's the plan. We gotta send... What will pair... I... I d <laughs> despite, despite the conversation they had last episode, I think we're gonna pair Monica and Edelgard up, and then we're going to send Caspar over to Ferdinand and pair those two up. So, let's get to it. Witness our virtue firsthand. All right, here we go. So, so first and foremost, sign you as an adjutant. Sign you as an adjutant, and then we will send only a matter of will. Ferdinand over to take care of that. Oh yeah, it's time to fight. I will do all that I can. Goodbye. I'm just gonna be careful here. Edelgard's so slow that I don't want to waste. Boom. There we go. Yeah, there we go. You just gotta get an opportunity to break their guard with her X move, and then you're good. I'm sure that there's a way that I could be playing this stuff better, right? There we go. That's one down. Thankfully, Edelgard's got this ability here to uh, heal everyone that she wants. There's a lot of people here. Let's take them out. I'll be sure to return the paper. Get out of my way. Let's move out. Took them down. Go ahead and just run through everyone, I guess. Don't let the master repository fall. Okay, let's swap over. See what Ferdinand can do as a paladin here. Ooh. Looks like he's doing pretty well so far. Hit them hard and fast. Nice. 
Nice. Big combo there. Alright, we gotta go. Gotta take out this, uh, these mercs. Damn. I don't have any special gauge, unfortunately. Nice. We got enough. Cool. I'll repay you somehow. God, cavalry, cavalry units in this game in particular are super powerful. They're just so fast and they cover so much AoE that if you just have one that's decently strong, no matter who they're up against, they'll just take them down. Uh, we need you, Edelgard, to head in here and just obliterate them. Nice. Okay, we got full special gauge, which means... Die. Get him, Caspar. Victory will be ours! I am Ferdinand von Iyer! It sucks that these characters are all part of the Black Eagle's house, because I hate Edelgard. I, I am of the persuasion that Edelgard is incontrovertibly evil because of her actions. Here, I'm here to help, too. Let's make a scene. Just go ahead and take this guy out, too. Um, I'm of the opinion that, yeah, Edelgard is unabashedly evil for her actions, and that despite her good intentions to try and delete the aristocracy from existence and create everything as a united rule under the guise of democracy, even though I agree with that, and I agree with her idea that the crests are evil, and that the church is a bad thing. Baron Mueller. Will, make a fine stage for my debut. will it? You're getting obliterated at the moment. We're in serious trouble if that stronghold falls. Oh yeah, we gotta take care of it. Take it down in one fell swoop! We'll be in a good position if Goodbye. we capture this stronghold. Shall we begin our attack? So. I cannot believe I perfect dodged that. And you're dead. Cool. What? How? A crushing defeat. <laughs> I was in the middle of the last combo that I needed to kill the boss, are you kidding me? That's so crazy. Oh boy. What am I kidding? Oh, I'm killing these guys. Yeah, hold on, come here. Get out of here. You guys suck. Goodbye. Alright. That was nice. Hey, Caspar leveled up. Decent level up. Thank you for that, Caspar. Literally how? How are you supposed to do that? I have no doubt your hard work will lead us to victory. <laughs> Is this impossible? I want to try it again. No, it really hasn't. It's not that difficult. I can just obliterate everyone. No, I don't need to change the fucking difficulty. Alright, let's try one more time. Get in here as quick as we can. Help must be dispatched. Eh, eh. Die. All of you. 
Okay, we knocked them all out of the keep at least. That's a big thing. Nice. Alright, they're all dead. You're not getting anywhere near this bitch. I will not stop until the battle. Are you kidding me? This is my duty and my burden. Your valor will be remembered by friend and Where? Alike. All of Adrestia will sing your name. I I I killed them all. How? How is this fallen? How did this fall? They beat us so soundly. They they really didn't. I want to see I want to see what the fucking problem is here. Am I am I in the wrong keep? Where the fuck is this? Is this the canal side keep? Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. <laughs> so confused. We're in serious trouble with that stronghold falls. Oh, I'm in the wrong keep. Take it down in one fell swoop. That said material repository. We'll be in a good position if we can capture this. This is canal side. I'm stupid. I'm glad I checked. Jesus Christ. I'm just obliterating all of these people. Mark my name well, comrades. I am Ferdinand von Iron. He said the words. He said the thing. I'm gonna obliterate every one of you, you sons of bitches. Get over here. <laughs> Why are there so many health bars? Victory will be ours. I am Ferdinand von Die. I should level up like five times from this. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Goodbye. Nice knowing you. God, cavalry units are so broken. Goodbye. Nice knowing you. And goodbye. I have 978 KOs. Is it here? Of course it's in the top one. The last one that I checked. Shall we begin our attack? Oh, don't be nice! I won't ever forget your kindness. Mark my name well, comrades. I am Ferdinand von Eyer. Not bad, but I'm just getting started. Goodbye. Oh, she dodged it. What the fuck? And that's one map cleared. Goodbye. An accessory or something for that. 
Fantastic. Uh, I believe that the man who was the MVP of that map is named Ferdinand Von Eyer, but I'm not quite sure. He might go by a different name. Well, well. Oh, you Good level ups. Ah, yes, Ferdinand Von Eyer. I did remember the name. I need Boost critical. Some other stuff. I'm literally just speeding through this as quickly as I can. Ooh, money bags. Got another... Got another lovely thing there. B rank friend 1. Facility can be expanded. Can't hold any more other shit. Uh... <laughs> Ah, we need to take care of this stuff. You took out some wild animals that were tearing up the village crops. The village leader wants to thank you. You saved our village. Please, take one of these treasures as thanks. Ooh. Experience gem. I think the experience gem will be better for the long run. We'll give that to someone who needs it. Like one of our lower ranked units. Like Manuela. Sounds good to me. Let's see. Which one do we want to do first? Let's take care of this one first. A grave threat. Thankfully, we got here in time so we can do both of these. Route the enemy. So it looks like we've got a couple of beasts here. What do we want to take care of? Uh, Shez wants in, so we'll tag her in. Dorothea will keep in. Let's... Hmm. We've already got a mage. We kind of do want to keep it as varied as we can. But I don't want to give too much experience to units who don't need it. Let's get this over with. And while you go in. Oh, good. It actually shows you. So we need sword, axe, and ice. So, I think if we put... I don't want to put Bernadetta in. Another Let's put Edelgard in. Victory. And then swap deployment over here. And then what do you need? You need light. So that would be Linhart. Uh, where is he? I'm up going here. To close off. I just know it. Light, swords, and axes again. Hmm. We'll change you out. Nah, yeah, screw it. Petra, you go in. And then, yeah. We'll attack that one. They attack that one. Shouldn't be too bad. They're only level 23. Okay. I've come this far. Why pack it in now? Striking swiftly is our best chance. I'll do what I can. One. Let's carve a swath through the battlefield. And then we'll have. Watch this. So I guess the mercs want a piece, huh? <laughs> Nice. That's a lot 
lot of dead people. I must have dying would defeat the purpose of all this. How can I face my comrades after this? That's a bunch of people down. Honestly, I have no idea how I'm still keeping my combo going. Literally how. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Take a breather. Yeah. Two down. Yeah. And a couple of broken shields to go along with it. Alright, now we need... Who do we need? We need Edelgard in particular to rush on over here and eliminate the last shield on this boss. If possible. dodge after that. Apparently not. Ugh. Thankfully it doesn't do too much damage. Because Edelgard's got a lot of health. Boom. Alright, there we go. I'll win the next one too, if I just stay focused. That was not too bad. All you have to do is just check all of the uh, all the stuff that you need. And we got the S rank. Very nice. Ooh. Did she complete? She got to spoil. I don't know what that is. I have to check her. Next time I get the chance. Linhart and Edelgard are C rank too. Ooh. Alright, next quest. A grave threat. Whatever that may mean. Oh, another batch, huh? What do we got? Ice. These are crawlers. I don't think we've seen these yet. Brawling, sword, axe, and ice. The only person we have that has ice is Shez. And they've also got sword. So I'm just going to go ahead and swap them over there. And then this person also has ice, this time had a bow as well. They both have axes, so we'll keep you in. And we'll swap you out for Bernadetta. Can't you just let me stay inside? And then Petra. You are not needed on that side. We'll swap you over here with Edelgard. Yeah, that makes the most sense to me. 
And then we'll have to run Shez back over to get the third one. Ah, uh, doesn't look like you're gonna need a third one. Yep, you'll need a third one over here, you won't need a third one over there. Uh, no, we are going to fight this. Alright, let's go. Beat this as quick as we can. Nice, we get some special gauge right off the bat. What are these things? We haven't seen these guys yet. Too, huh? Watch out. Run in a circle for that one. There we go. Got some materials there. You see? Swap over. Oh boy. Watch out. There we go. And first giant crawler dead. Lovely. Uh, second giant crawler. Not a problem. I guess it's not a giant crawler, is it? I need to get rid of that guy. Oh boy. that hit? Don't know. Oh boy. Reminently. We'll heal. Real quick. That's a lot of enemies. One down. Yeah. Oh boy. Go ahead and take them down. Swapping it. Woo! Got lucky there. And that should be it. There we go. Well done. Oh, I'm alive! Which means I can finally go home. Might have been able to have used Shez to break one more there, but I think that's all that needs to be taken care of. Okay. That's the two missions where we fight the big beasties down. And now we've got one more side mission here before we move on to the main mission. Rendezvous with the Burglies Squadron. An enemy ploy has isolated Count Burglies and his forces. They are now locked in a struggle with the Alliance Army. Go and help them. 
We've been breezing through most of these, so hopefully this one is also the same. Rescue the mage and the mercenary. So what do we need here? Looks like good old Edelgard again. Lots of lots of lance units. We've got some thieves with wing threshers, so we don't want any Pegasus Knights. Thankfully, we don't have to worry about that. And then you've got, of course, Bernie needs to go right up front here. We'll change you out for Ferdinand so that he can take care of those guys. And then we'll swap you out with... Constance. Constance. Be more useful. Oh, we get depressed, Constance. That's nice. Conduct a rescue quick. Okay. Uh, you need to go quickly. They must learn who they're up against. There's not a question of can. Leave this to me. You need to go that way. Pardon my ineptitude. And you pair up with me. We can ill afford any losses. Together, we will turn this disadvantage back in our favor. I don't know how long I can hold up. Help me, please. I'll wait for that brawler to finish his combo before attacking him again. <laughs> Brawler on the way here. Nice. Well done. And toast. Alright, now let's go take care of these guys over here. Boom. Freeze everyone real quick. Go ahead and keep hitting them like that, huh? Seems like nice, pretty decent. Did you all see how marvelous I was? Oh boy. Are you done? Nice. Triple down. Oh, does Bernie's thing count as ice magic? Alright, we need to swap over. Where did that come from? Not so high I expected any less. Yeah, right. Here I go. I'm sorry. You weren't strong enough. Nice. All right. Those Cavaliers are now gone. Mercenaries are saved. And now we need to go down here. We did it. Take out this guy. Judith's here. Of course she is. <laughs> Goodbye. Wow, I got. I was using four different skills at once there. I don't need that. Over. 
Okay. Um, now that that's all good, you're just gonna have to go up here. Fight that guy. Bernie, kill that guy, and then Edelgard will take care of everything else for you. You ready for Ferdinand to just run straight past us in a second? He's about to. That's one. The reason that this is dangerous for Ferdinand is I believe they have horse slayers. I will crush all obstacles in my way. You are nice. a pillar of strength, Lady Edelgard. Got some awakening gauge. This is quickly wearing thin. Goodbye. Nice knowing you, Mr. Cavalier. Took him down. Oh boy. I don't like that. You've got a rapier. Ah, we'll take it. Uh. Alright, get him for we'll a man. Well done. That takes care of the rescue. And not a moment too soon. I love that I just yoinked the crescent sickle from Yuritsa and gave it to Ferdinand, because I planned on using him more. Alright, S on that one too. Pretty, pretty good uh, episode so far in terms of, I guess, just performance in the levels. But I honestly shouldn't be treating it like a performance, like I'm being judged, should I? I get a little bit stressed. But it's fine. We're still having a good time. For now. 10 strategy resources, and Midwestern Regan territory is now available. Let's check this stuff real quick. Uh, a famous band of mercenaries is holding a tournament. You all look like you've got some skills. There's a prize for the winner. Interested? Hmm. You obtained the following. Killing Edge plus six. Jesus Christ. Uh, a band of thieves is targeting stragglers from a defeated army. You take them out and capture the leader. No, just let us live. Here, we'll give you back everything we grabbed. Ooh, knight's insignia. Seems the residents fled somewhere. They left some useful items behind. There's so many quality, quality beard building materials. You've come across the Burgley Squadron, cut off from the main army. They need to restock their supplies. We were cut off from His Excellency's main army. Please, help us. Uh, yeah. We've got the items for that. Let's check at the camp real quick. I want to go and use some of the items to improve our facilities before we continue on uh, Facilities Master. Allow me to assist with any matter. Okay, so what do we need? The supply depot needs some stuff. We only have 10 storage chests. This increases the types of tradable items. Add more personnel to the supply squad increases the amount of materials. Let's hold off on that for now. So let's see here. Battalions. We don't have squires insignias that we need for that. 
Knight's insignias are needed for that. What's for this? Marketplace. Command the merchants to expand the distribution network in adjacent regions. Increases the types of gifts that can be bought. That's not very necessary at the moment. Need sutler's licenses for that. And that. Hmm. Increases the type of weapons. Increases gold. Increases the types of resources and ingredients. Recreation quarter. Expands the number of dishes I can cook. We need humble furnishings for that one. Basic furnishings. Increases the chances of successfully cooking a meal. Increases the chances of succeeding when volunteering. Hmm. This one needs a lot. It looks like we can use a couple on this one, though. Reduces the cost. Allows level C weapons to be repaired. Allows level D weapons to be reforged. Let's do this one and the other one. For weapons that have been forged more than 10 times, reforging offers a way to raise the maximum forge count. Some weapons can be transformed into other weapons when reforged. In that case, the weapon's forge count will reset to zero and it will lose any enhancement from previous forging. However, the increased maximum forge count will be retained. That seems overly complicated if you ask me, but what do I know? Okay, Tactics Academy. What are these for? Well, these look important. Combat manuals. Allows for a higher unique action ability level. Higher unique support ability level. Unique tactical ability level. Allows crest level. Let's go for crests and for unique action ability. Uh, what else is there? Training grounds. Increases training ground slot to six. Damn. We need recruit training gear for that. Well, we definitely want this. So that's full now. Uh, reduces the cost of leveling up. That seems important. And we'll do this one as well. Training grounds developers up. Supply depot. Amount of materials. We'll take care of that one. Um, authority level C battalions. Take care of that. Gold gained when winning a battle. Take that. Let's do successfully cooking a meal because I've failed at that more than anything else. And I think that's it for now. Oh no, the marketplace has something that we can do. Hmm. Types of weapons or types of of resources and ingredients. Let's do types of resources and ingredients, because that'll allow us to better take care of everything. So camp level is now at C, which is nice. Facility effects 38. Until the next level, we need 12 more. It's looking pretty nice so far. We're not halfway there, but Let me know if I'd say we're about a third of the service. way there. Okay. Now, without any further ado, let's just head right on into the, f the main mission. Well, actually, they're right. We do need to use our activity points and our training points. We got three of each. And we have awards over here, well, too. Damn, go. there's so much that you have to do. Secret Transport Force. 
You worked real hard for this. Put it to good use. Any results a good result. This sort of management stuff uh, isn't entirely my thing, but I didn't think it was my thing in three before I played Three Houses either, and it became one of my more favorite things to do, which is nice. Um, let's let's try and take Monica on an expedition. Why not? Haven't done this yet. Pick something that kills even like more time. Very well. It's always important to take a break every now and again. Nice. Where are we going? Oh, Monica, Monica, Monica. What a weird one you are. Oh, that loaded rather quick. All right, time for me to mess this up again. You've arrived in a vast expanse of green natural splendor stretching out as far as the eye can see. You tie up your horses to graze by the meadow. If I knew it was going to be this relaxing, I would have brought Her Majesty along. Sit down to take a break. All right, uh, let's ask a question. Um... About their likes. Like to read books and perform research. Knowledge is a powerful weapon, you know. Mm, come in that. Leave it to me. Okay. Apparently that's wrong. I I never understand the shit, dude. <laughs> this makes no sense. I remember every single word you've said, even tracing back to when you first burst in to save me. I'm grateful. There you go. Uh, talk again. Capable, but his attitude leaves much to be desired. <laughs> I agree. Okay. Uh, that was time well spent. Yeah, this, uh, I, I never understand this stuff at all. <laughs> I feel like I do exactly what they want me to, and it, uh, it just never works. Uh, who else? Who else can we do this with um hmm Dorothea why not give Dorothea some love expedition with Dorothea Dorothea has not gotten a lot of love in this playthrough so far so All right, but only because I trust you Sure, let's go. The horses. I should have... I skipped that on accident? No. They're already off to a great start. Um, let's ask a question. Dreams for the future. I'd love a steady income, a roguishly handsome husband, or a beautiful wife, a warm household. Hey, are you listening? A rueful smile. Offer encouragement. Hello. You don't seem very concerned with pride. Are all mercenaries like that? Hmm. I don't know. I like I like this option. I feel like this option might be right. We'll go with this one. Damn it. Do you have a dream besides continuing on as a mercenary? I mean, how do you imagine your life after the war? Hmm. Right. She dislikes that one. Interesting. Today was. I mean, I was speaking honestly in that regard. I I think I was being pretty pretty honest, all things considered. I don't think that Shez thinks about the future very much. Do I want to yank Bernie out of her house? I don't think so. We'll let her hibernate for now. Um, let's give one of the boys some love. 
Or do we want to yoink on with us? Gaspar, why not? You seem s simply hmm. easy to get a hold of, which means I'm not going to get any of these right. Thanks for inviting me. So, uh, where are we going? No idea. We're not gonna train? Well, I guess that's fine. Whoa, you can see forever from here. Oh, I get it. We're scanning the horizon for worthy adversaries. Wait, we're not? What? The then what's the point? <laughs> he sounds so he sounds so sad about that. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> whoops! Must be the nature getting to me. I don't worry. I'm not gonna doze off like someone we know. Hmm. Get some exercise. Uh -huh. There's one. Uh, ask a question. What about your friends? Fighters on our side. It's a shame I can't ever challenge any of them for real. Hmm. Join the competition. Let's go. I don't know a thing about the Church of Saros, but it's never really affected me all that much. Oh boy. Hmm. Gotcha. Damn it! <laughs> Come on. That was a nice change of pace. Let me know if you're ever up for it again. Oh well. At least everyone that I hung out with is now up to a decent level. Let's also, now, since we're here, um, acquire some classes. Shez could become a sword master. Do we want them to go off of Flugel? I think we do because they've got this extra class down here. So let's let's use one of our advanced seals to promote Shez into our sword master class. Well, this will take some getting used to. Up to B. Yes, change the class. That's fine. Um, let's see here. What is this going to change to? Ah, well, that's fine. We don't need to change that at all. Oh. I can give you an extra thing. I don't think we need it. it. Just gives us defense and stuff like that. I should honestly set abilities for everyone, though. Shouldn't I? Hmm. That's a B level. Grants one tier greater advantage against enemies equipped with swords. Reduces damage from them by 55%. Hmm. I don't think you need anything. We'll just start putting some of these. Hmm. I don't know. You don't have a battalion currently. Could put the archers on you. Could. Don't think I want to. Let's see. I mean, you currently don't have one, so I guess we'll just put these on you. Grants one tier greater advantage against enemies equipped with gauntlets. Reduces damage from them by 55%. Lovely. make her even more powerful, why don't we? Uh... We'll put decks on you. Why not? And then, continuing down the line, you are gonna get the charm ring because you can. Monica's gonna get one of the shields. I think Manuela should also get one of the shields, because she needs it. Um, 
give you a speed ring. Does... Yeah, we'll give you a speed ring as well. Actually, now that I think about it, Manuela needs not an iron shield, but she needs the experience gem. So that she can get more XP. And then we'll put we'll put it on Hubert. Why don't we? There we go. Now everyone's stuff is up to snuff. Hubert, you're ready to accelerate. Um, I could make you a warlock. But I'm going to make you a dark mage. Because you seem applicable for this. All is done. Good. Equipped abilities. Unique abilities. Dark conjuration. That looks good. Let's see. Hmm. I'll take that one off. Increases damage to enemies by 10%. When this unit is the active unit or an adjutant, increases the fill rate of the adjutant attack gauge and adjutant guard gauge. Increases magic by 2. Can I not? Oh, okay. What does this do? De increases damage dealt by Mage, Warlock, and Grimmery class actions. The gauge will deplete more quickly. Interesting. Guess we'll have to keep that in mind. Uh, Caspar, you're already evolved. Bernadetta, you have not evolved yet. Um, let's go ahead and move you over into Sniper. I just want to go home. You're fine. And lastly, who do we want to evolve? We can evolve... Ah, man. We're not going to get any unique class for her, unfortunately. We're not going to get a unique one for Happy, either. Which is disappointing, because Trickster's in here, but you can't get it unless you go down Petra's path that I have her going. You're already a... Okay, he's not a paladin yet. I was thinking that was Ferdinand that I was looking at. It was not. Who else? We got two left. Let's do Linhart. Get him to Bishop. Da, ba -da -ba -dum. You can become bishop. That is fine by me. And then we need one more evolution here. Let's make Monica a warlock. My love comes in many forms. Fantastic. And that's it for the people that we can do like that. Um, let's swap out a few of these people, though. Linhart. Linhart and Hubert haven't gone together yet. Edelgard's already mastered Fortress Knight, which is scary. We can do one more, actually. Let's see here. Uh, Bernie's not done anything. Why not? Bernie and Ferdinand can pair up together. I think that's everyone that we want to continue doing this, so let's do successive training real quick. Nice. Can't let this power go unused. 
Ooh, ability hunter four. This power will serve me in Nice. Okay. Training can be the difference between victory and if can't wait to see how you do. That is it for all that stuff, which means we can go straight into the battle. And even though we're already at the hour mark, I'm going to go ahead and do it in this episode anyway, because we want to make sure that we get through these chapters in two episodes instead of three episodes. So that's my goal. My goal is to get through the... My goal is to get through these episodes in as quick as possible. But I clearly did not give the man enough credit. I thought for certain he mm. would have fallen by now. And yet here we are. It is kind of a miracle, isn't it? If we're handing out credit, Claude deserves some as well. Maintaining a siege for this long takes its own toll on morale. It's true. Yet his troops remain disciplined, well positioned, and ready to engage us. One advantage to a siege is mobility. They can deploy soldiers up and down the line as needed to keep the upper hand. In other words, they are outfitted with many highly mobile units, which means they can respond quickly to enemy reinforcements as well. That just tells me that Edelgard's slow ass isn't going to be able to do fucking anything. <laughs> if we rush in blindly and are driven back, it would likely break our ally spirits for good. Not even Count Burglies would be able to rally them again. Surrender would be the only option. Oh, boy. Why are they wavering now when we're so close? We're not looking to win the war today. We just have to break the siege. Well, we're going to have to fight Byleth, so... We should attack their lines at multiple positions. We don't need to win the battle. We just need them to break formation long enough for the Count and his troops to get out of there. Well, this is new. You are not often one to give voice to your opinions on tactics. Still, you have struck the proverbial nail on the head. It is exactly how we must proceed. Then it's decided. I look forward to your exploits on the battlefield. We'll see. Today... We free our Imperial allies and reward their continued valor in the face of impossible odds. All right, the climax that has been building over the course of two chapters here. Oh boy. So it looks like we've got two routes to go and you only get four units? Oh man, that's rough. Oh boy. We're gonna have to take out three lovely people. I love all three of these characters, but we can't recruit them because I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to use them in the next playthrough. Lysithia is, I think inarguably my favorite character from Fire Emblem Three Houses. Yeah. Yeah, I think, she, I, I really do think she is. Over the course of the two and a half to three playthroughs that I did of Three Houses on my own time, I think she is the one that I ended up liking the most. And it was the transformation that she had from being kind of cold and callous towards everyone into being a team player that uh, really got me. So, this is gonna suck, but it's gotta be done. Gotta stick to my guns. So what have we got here? Begin the battle with the enemy formation drawn in towards your army. So basically it gets them away from Burglies, right? Is that what that's saying? It's fine by me. Poison tactic. Begin the battle, battle with the enemy's HP slightly decreased. Grant the Axe Breaker ability to Stronghold Captains and Allied Strongholds. Hmm. Have the Burgly Squadron cut loose and break through the enemy siege. Ooh. That sounds good to me. Have the Empire Holy Magic users use White Magic to heal the Burgly's generals. Absolutely doing that. That's going to be necessary, I think. And then... As a choice between this, I don't think we really need the enemy's HP slightly decreased. We'll do this. So that they can better defend themselves. Okay. Okay, we get a... 
We get eight units here. It looks like Bernadetta's gonna need to be utilized. Chez is going to need to be utilized as well. We have not seen the Swordmaster class yet, so that'll be interesting to see. Uh, let's swap you over. Uh, Ferdinand doesn't look like they're necessary, and neither is Edelgard this time. Interesting. So what have they got that's so bad? Defender's Tome. So Defender's Tome is good against both riders and armored units. Didn't know that. Didn't know there was any there was such a thing as a Defender's Tome, and this guy's got a hammer. These are some brigands. So Hilda is not going to get killed. Uh. But she is going to be defeated on this map. There's Marianne. There's Raphael, and this is Lysithia. She's a warlock. And there's Claude, the Wyvern Master, already. Let's fail not. And I'm sure Byleth will jump scare us at some point, because she's not on this map in a big block. Uh, who else? We are going to need Caspar, so let's swap him in. He's going to do a lot of damage. And it looks like Monica might be necessary as well, considering there are some mages that need to be taken care of. Swap her in. Uh, let's see who else. Petra's pretty good. Let's put Linhart in. I just know it. Let's put Linhart in just for the sake of taking care of all those guys over there. Um, you don't have very many other options. I'll put Petra back in and pair her up with Bernadetta. I'll pair her up with Bernadetta because they're both going the same side. And Edelgard, I don't want to get rid of because, I mean, it's Edelgard, but... I don't know if she's going to be necessary here. Yeah, we'll keep you out there. I don't think we really need Constance to be in. All things considered, let's put Happy in. Fine. What's the plan? Happy or Hubert? I will prepare this. You know what? We'll do Hubert because he's a dark mage and he needs the XP for the class. That's the only reason why I'm putting him in. Uh, so yeah. Go ahead and get this going. I didn't even check the, the necessary stats here. So here we go. This song, huh? Right, Let us go to work. Shall we join? Sign that as an adjutant. Begin. Sign oh, you as an adjutant. Excellent. Here I go. No mistakes. It seems you could use. Oh, if I must. This should be easy if we work together. And here we go. Um, Bernadetta, to you're gonna start by heading right over here sure, and murdering Raphael. Day. Caspar is gonna head right over here and murder Marianne. I will gladly handle this. And you're gonna help. Orders received. Controls the stronghold. And here we go. The enemy has been completely cut off from me. Our goal is to break the seat so he and his troops can evacuate safely. There's Marianne. I hope you like. I will not permit you to pass. I hope you like her intro cutscene because that's the last time you're gonna see it for this playthrough. Well, you all know what to Ooh, boy. Engage the enemy. Engage the enemy. That's a Xenoblade One song. Oh man. I like that. Goodbye. If you do not rescue both Hercules and his troops. All right, they're down. Hey, Raphael. 
Nice seeing you, man. I'm itching to show what my muscles can do. Now, who wants to be first? Unfortunately, you're the first one on the list. I'll take this place down before you have time to strap your armor on. I don't feel good about doing this, Raphael. I'm sorry. Goodbye, my good friend. Ooh, that's cool. Oh, I love the finger snap. Oh, and it inflicts his ability on them, too. Oh, wow. Did she just slice the moon in half? Jesus Christ. That was not a good time to show off the new special for two new classes. Majesty comes to rescue us. I know your spirits are weary, but we kindle them now with whatever spark of hope remains in your soul. Oh wow! Just smashed the ground on that one. What does it matter if I die? That sucks. Why would you make her say that? hate that. Whoever wrote that sucks. Goodbye. That's another brawler down. We're gonna be using Shez a lot in the story missions. Just gonna say that. The other missions, that's where other people have time to shine. Okay, now I will swap over to these guys. Sorry, Marianne. Nothing personal. I have no regrets. I'll be with the goddess soon. You deserve better. Seize the strongholds and create an escape route. I will gladly handle the orders. Okay, uh, you guys need to go up and take care of Hilda. Especially you, Bernie. Let's ruin them. Alright. We've taken care of pretty much everything necessary here with Caspar. Looks like we can get a little bit more special gauge. There's Hilda. Hilda Valentine Gonorail. Line. So why don't you just leave and we'll call it a day? Man, unfortunately that's not gonna happen. 
Really wish it would, really wish it would, but we'll get our revenge when we get to the Golden Deer. But that'll be a while, because I planned on doing that one last. Save the best for last and all that, but... I mean, then I started... <laughs> then all those other games came out, and... <laughs> I haven't had a chance, but... It is my MO that if I start a series on YouTube, I plan to finish it. 100%. At some point. I will always plan to finish these series. You should never expect... If I stop uploading for a series... Uh-oh, that's not good. Run out of time here. Hello, Lysithia. I love your design! Alright. Here they come. But I came here to fight, and I won't back down! Sorry, girl. You're not escaping. I apologize. Make it quick for you. Oh. I surrender. And as it was my choice alone to be here, I ask you not to take action against my parents. She did not die. She just she just surrendered. Our allies are nearly within reach. Clear out the enemy soldiers in those blocks. I'm just expecting to have to kill people repeatedly. A detachment of white mages stands ready to mend our wounded comrades. Now, heal Count Berkeley's forces. Pay attention now. Get out of here. I am so into this. There you go. Go down. Well met, my son. For the first time in my life, I thought my end had come to me. Yeah, I've never seen you in such bad shape. You look half dead. Glad we did that with Caspar so we could get that dialogue. Your Majesty. Oh, and Edelgard, we get some flavor text for it. Now ready your troops for the treat. Alright. I like that effect. Target their strongholds and crush their reinforcements. Oh. Catapults, huh? Catapults. We have to stop them. I'll take it. Don't worry about it. So long. I got this. And you're done. Farming village huts down. And I want to send him over to kill that guy. And not a problem. Actually, let's control Bernadetta. So, I don't want to panic anyone, but they're still hurling boulders at us. They struggle to fall. She's actually trying to be reliable for once, which is crazy. I'm not afraid of you! Hilda has been defeated. Get out of there, Hilda! We can't lose you! Yeah, alright! Sorry! Huh? 
Not a problem. Uh, we want to control Shez. And we're going to go down here and take out these guys. They'll just be kind enough to let us escape this way. Well, that was a delight. Maybe we can stop and rest for a few here? Damn, Caspar took that. Deploy the reinforcements. Fill those gaps. From the reinforcements. They're trying to show up areas where we've been their ranks. Don't let that happen. It's Bernie's time to shine. Kill that guy. This goes okay. So, what should I be doing again? We need. I think we need. Yeah, we need you to go down here and take care of that. Nice. I still have Ooh, a long way. That was go. a really bad level up for Hubert. Holy shit. The siege is broken, men. Your courage and perseverance have been rewarded. The way is open. Move as one and defend the Count and his soldiers as we go. You think I'm just gonna let you slink out of here? Ha! <laughs> I'm already two steps ahead. <laughs> Looks like we're up. Yeah, here they come. Let us cut off our escape and... Oh no, look who's with them. We won't put a dent in your company with the numbers we have. I vote we rush Claude's main position instead. It would indeed catch him by surprise. Do we flank from the left or right? Either way, let's choose a path and clear out anyone foolish enough to stand before us. The Count's soldiers we saved would be a great use if we place them under his command. Uh, put that guy down. I'm gonna go up here and try and defeat this brigand. Oh, I was not planning to do that. This many troops I can finally turn the tide. Time to wipe the smug grin off that Elias kid's face. Not so much for choosing which side to flank. It seems we must follow the Count's lead. Her Majesty has given us a chance to escape. Rush the enemy and smash the Alliance to splinters! I hope the Count isn't doing what I think he's doing. Everyone, stay with him! Wait, what? They're going the wrong way. Jesus Christ. Is he nuts? That's not even a proper path. Is he just coming straight for us? His strategy makes no sense at all. Which is exactly why I think it may work. Yeah, because Claude doesn't expect the unexpected. He's good at anticipating and reacting. Planning ahead. Well, I guess, I guess not reacting. He's good at anticipating and planning ahead. But when someone does something unpredictable, it can put a wrench in his ideas. I will not be outside. Uh. We're nearly clear of the battlefield. Just Took care of that one. Oh no! It won't do to have you slip our grasp now. I knew it, you son of a bitch. The Ashen Demon. Clever of Claude to keep this little surprise. For oh, the here comes the music. The I'll handle the mercenary. The rest of you press on. Don't stop, no matter. Nah, what I'm just running around you, buddy. I'm not after you at the moment. Alright, everyone needs to fucking do something. 
Order you go received. after them. Uh, you need to move. You need some backup? Guard, please. So, what should I be doing again? Uh, guard your father, please. You will probably die in like five hits from the Ashen Demon, but. Hit them with all you have. Leave nothing on the battlefield. I am running down here in particular to grab this chest because I don't want to waste it. You're attacking the main position, but that's not. Oh, I have to go help them. Eloise. Where are you? So, what should I be doing again? I changed my mind. Bernadetta, go kill Claude. They're avoiding us entirely and attacking the main position instead. Looks like someone over there has half a brain after all. The battle's lost if they've made it this far, but maybe I can still take out an officer or two. Maybe. It surprises yeah. me to see you among the ranks of my rescuers. Do not be having the wrong idea. I am helping the Empire, not you. Please let us take this place down! I swear to hide! Hey, thank you for walking into that, Gerald. Yeah, not bad. Good level up. Thank you. Come on. Gerald is getting fucking wrecked right now. You're a wily one, aren't you? Goodbye. Alright. There's Gerald down. Payback one. <laughs> to kill is to Well, this was fun. Barely even got to stall for time. Nice. We got more gauge. Fantastic. Where's Byleth? Hello. Watch my back. Let's see what we can do. <laughs> Ugh. Got you now. Oh, that's such a sick. You got my back? Come here, bitch. Watch my back. <laughs> Yeah. 
I'm, I'm kind of not talking here because I'm trying to focus because, I mean, Nova does... <laughs> I named them Nova. I named myself Nova in... I named them Nova in my Three Houses playthrough. Oh boy. I can do decent damage with that, but I honestly don't think I'm strong enough to beat them even now. I just don't... Oh boy. Yeah, I don't want to see that. See, this is pretty much all I can really do, and I'm not doing much damage at all. I should honestly just leave them to it. Go take care of uh, Claude. So you're the one who's messing up all of my clever plans. Hey, I just work here. You're gonna make a nice trophy for the Emperor. <laughs> I like you, Claude, a lot. Let us go. You've got me cornered. Better think fast. Goodbye. That all you got? Depends. Do you like wind magic? Goodbye. That's all I can take. Let's see if our new mercenary friend is worth all that gold. I must be getting old. Enough! I'm falling back. You better. You protect the main position. We'll go after the Imperial soldiers who escaped. They have reinforcements watching the escape route. They will hold Gerald's mercenaries at bay. Which oh just boy. leaves the Ashen Demon. We're close to the finish now. So let's take whatever time we need and do this right. Oh, it actually is going to make me. That crash with Count Burgles has left the demon weary. This could be our best chance to crush that pest for good. So they're weaker now. But I can still do some damage. So I was wasting my time earlier. Because now you're weaker. How many times have Oh, you refilled your health though. Either way. This will be the last. Probably not. Uh, 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 uh. Want to keep the combo going? <laughs> we'll do it together. I've got you now. The Empire has grown strong. I might actually have to work for this one. We finally got that menace on the ropes. We can win this. Probably not. Waiting for some bullshit. Goodbye. Nice knowing you. Mm. Uh oh. Oh my god! <laughs> they really fucking brought in the wibbly wobbly timey wimey bullshit.
Sorry, Such I've got. Arrogance for one so small. Oh, possession. Perhaps you truly are one of their descendants. In any event, you labor to destroy my vessel, did you not? That is a deed most foul. One you will pay for with your life. <laughs> You cannot hope to win so bound in flesh. Pitiful. This isn't a fight you can win. Get out of there! You can run all you like. Why do you... fight me? Why so this? Hmm. Sothis kind of being antagonistic so there. They were too much for us. Was not expecting that, to, to be quite honest with you. She took that personally. She was like, hmm, you're trying to kill me. Fucking die. You dare. You mere mortal. Does not Was not expecting that. It's all right, Hilda. Well, it's not, but I knew this was a possible outcome. I was hoping the terrain might let us hold, but... Against that many soldiers deployed that skillfully? It just wasn't enough. You sound sad. It's a little weird. Can you blame me? Look at how many people have died because I decided to fight this war. <sighs> Maybe I should have just let the Empire have their way. My father and the others never would have accepted that. You had to throw everything you had at the enemy at least once, or they'd think you were a coward forever. Wow, Hilda. I didn't think you'd picked up on all of that. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. Too bad everything I had still wasn't enough. Well, the next step is to put our heads together and figure out what to do next. I hope you don't mind if I lean on you and that brother of yours for support. Lester's round table is overdue for some big changes. Hmm. Again, your majesty. You've got my deepest thanks for rescuing us. And since my lack of foresight's to blame, let me apologize again for what happened. I will not hear of it, Count Berglees. Had any but you been in command, I would be collecting corpses right now instead of thanks. I failed to see what Duke Regan and Count Gloucester were plotting. The blame is mine alone, so I will hear no more self-reproach from you. Go now and rest those weary bones. I'm grateful for the kindness, Your Majesty. Honestly, this experience shook me more than you might realize. I never would have made it through without the brave men and women who served me. They're the ones who deserve your praise. Understood. I will see they are duly rewarded. Hubert, summon Monica and have that put in writing as an official decree. And now, I want to know how we are faring with our efforts in the kingdom. That's true. We're kind of trying to fight a war on two fronts here, aren't we? Ah, we'll have to do that one again, though. Had an A on that one. Didn't get S on enemies defeated either. So it was supposed to be 18 minutes, and we were supposed to defeat 1,800 enemies, I think. That's what it was for one of the previous ones. So we were close. Just not enough, though. That was a good level up for Lenhart there. Some decent level ups. Nothing too crazy, though, except for Lenhart's, which was really good. This will help me break new boundaries. Ooh, boost critical. Ooh, a steel shield. A weighty steel shield offering strong protection. So that's the next level of shield. And we have a steel sword plus four that we got. That was it. We got one advanced seal, smithing stones, black sand steel, and a ton of other stuff. Good A rank, plus 75% to the gold that we get. Hubert and Monica are now C rank and renowned mercenary. And, and well, as did I. Yeah, we we did well, and then Sothis kind of possessed Byleth, which we have never seen before. That's very weird. Who knew the Ashen Demon had that kind of strength? Not that I'm making excuses. You gave me power of my own, and it still wasn't close to enough. That's not true. Of course it is. What am I 
I even up against here? It's like I looked away for one second, and suddenly I was facing someone else entirely. Hmm, that would explain what was troubling me before. That is the unique danger I sensed. Still, you can win this fight. I know you can. And I'll do whatever I can to make it so. We'll claim victory over that monster together. I love how we've just kind of become... I'm looking for revenge against the Ashen Demon. Why? Because I want to beat them in a fight. And also because of the mercenary thing that happened at the very beginning of the game, but also... I... whatever. You know what? You're right. I'll be strong enough one day if I just keep at it. Still, one day could be years from now at this rate. We should probably think of a backup plan. And hey, the Ashen Demon's a mercenary, right? Might be best for the Empire to toss some coin their way and put the rivalry behind us. You want to hire that thing? Seriously? Fighting side by side with the Ashen Demon? Are you mad? You make it sound like the worst idea in the world. You know, I don't think that Sothis would allow that to happen. She'd be like, fuck no. We have a war to win here, remember? Gotta keep an open mind. Ah, I understand now. You've witnessed your adversary's true strength and convinced yourself you cannot win. What? No. I just know a valuable resource when I see one. And we're far better off with them than we are against them. If that's really how you feel, then so be it. But trust me, you don't need to worry. You'll get stronger soon, I promise. So maybe don't go relinquishing your prey just yet. After all, I desire nothing more than to see you achieve your goals. A glove does not defy the hand. Oh, really? Indeed, you've done just that. So this is my name. Yet I am also called The Beginning. I am progenitor and mother to all who call Foblin home. Where am I? I am not here to answer all you ask. Yet, I will grant the one. You stand before my throne. If you so wish, then take a seat. But know then that your flesh is mine to wield. What, like you just did? You lack the power to resist. My flesh? What are you saying? You should not have interfered! I could have cut that wretch down with a stroke! Oh, that one vexes me so. When next we meet, I must step in and deal with them myself. It is quite clear that you cannot my power safely wield. Do I speak plain? I mean, <laughs> the way you spoke in that previous sentence, no. Not in the slightest. I have so many questions. Hey, interesting that that's the first... Already. Inter interesting that that's the first time that they've met. Considering all the power that, uh that I guess Byleth had beforehand. That means that they did not have any of Sothis' power and they were just that strong. You sure That's pretty right? crazy. You don't seem like yourself. I'm fine. Just a strange dream. Like the ones you used to have. Yes, but this time we talked. Huh? You fool! That was no dream! Ugh. What's wrong? Nothing. Wait. Didn't you... Do you lack wits? My voice is not for him. Whenever I speak, it is for you alone. On second thought, I think there is something wrong. I mean, my hair's still a different color, right? Yeah, it's almost like you've awakened. Like you did at, uh... At the last juncture in, uh... I, I guess it was the, the battle with Kronia and Solon in, uh in the main game, right? In which case, this, uh... Yes, your eyes, too. How that happened is... This is me. definitely perplexing, because when that happened the last time, Sothis disappeared for good. Anyway, we lost the battle, so probably best to wave this place goodbye and find somewhere to rest up. Is that a fact? Actually, I think I'd feel more comfortable staying here on the battlefield a while longer. I just need to swing my sword around, get my head on straight. Don't worry, I'll be fine. If you say so, but if it gets any worse, tell me. It's very odd to actually have Byleth 
voice acted for a large quantity of the game. Of course, Your Majesty. Let me apprise you all as to what is going on. Okay. As you know, our talons have been sunk in our little alliance problem for some time now. Yep. But now we must deal with the kingdom, which has sent an army to claim the heads of Count Roe and any others who came over to our side. Oh, really? However, Roe is seated at Aryan Road, the fortress city. A citadel as hard to crack as Fort Mercius. Ah, Aryan Road. The Silver Maiden. Seems sort of weird to call a big hulking place like that a maiden. That's because she's as hard to get near as the purest of maidens. If you're still confused, that's your own problem. <laughs> I'm not explaining it to you. <laughs> Please fucking grow up. Yeah, I still don't get it. Mm, of course you don't. Our reports indicate that despite the strength of the kingdom's army, they are still struggling to take the fortress city. But given enough time, they will unless we send reinforcements. Therefore, we must direct our attention to the kingdom once more. Will this constant bouncing between the kingdom and alliance not take its toll on our soldiers? Yeah, that's a good question. We said we were taking our entire force. We will depart for Garrig Moth with elite troops, then collect fresh units before proceeding west. Simultaneously, I plan to have Duke Garrick summon the Western Lord soldiers and march toward the fortress city. We will join up at that point and strike at the kingdom's main force together. What say you to that? I would say it is the ideal strategy, at least on paper. Okay, let's keep our optimism in check here. I mean, speaking from personal experience, nothing ever turns out the way you want it to. Hmm. Should we be having concern? If the plan is good, we will find success. It's very weird to see Bernadetta taller than the other two in this perspective. And the Alliance? They may attempt another one of their schemes while we're distracted. They will not. Her Majesty is taking a measured approach to resolving matters with Lester. Count Burgley's is worn as thin as they are. We will have him set up camp at the Great Bridge and continue negotiations from there. To our advantage, Gloucester has passed leadership to his son, who is willing to submit to Imperial rule. Besides, from what I hear, the round table is too busy chewing itself apart to start any more trouble. For now. That leaves only the Knights of Saros to contend with. The Minister of Religious Affairs will handle them. My father? But he's not capable of facing the Knights? I let the Ashen Demon outmaneuver me in the last battle. That won't happen again. Well... Think that's it for the cutscenes? Scarlet Blaze. The Maiden's, the maiden's peril. peril. He has a much better voice than I do for this. When he learns of the Empire's struggle, Dimitri decides the time is right to strike. He moves swiftly to drive the Empire out, toppling one unfaithful Western Lord after another. Finally, he descends on Aryan Road, seat of Count Roe the first lord to betray him. Thus does Edelgard's army begin another grueling march to rescue a different count. Hmm. So I see. We've been here before. But we were in such a rush to rescue Lenato that we never got more than a glimpse of Aryan Road. Can't really appreciate the scale that quick. And now we're back to bail it out. If only Claude hadn't hatched his feudal scheme, we could have avoided all these needless battles and saved countless lives. Yet, in a more positive light, he handed us the perfect opportunity to show that not even the Alliance and Kingdom together can match the Empire's strength. Yeah, if we win this, their morale will be crushed by far. As we crush the army of Fargus, our superiority will be clear for all to see. And will that actually result in fewer casualties going forward? Because that is what would put Her Majesty's heart at ease. I will make no guarantees for matters beyond our control. So long as fanatics are willing to die for the Central Church, casualties are inevitable. Ah. Uh, we broke the Alliance's siege, and we can break the Kingdom's too! We're lucky it's a stronghold like Aryan Road that's under siege. It shouldn't be half the nail-biter we had to deal with last time. That's true. Yes, but last time Count Burglies was in command. 
For all we know, Count Roe will break like a twig and surrender the moment he hears the first soldier crest the hill. That's true. As I see it, we have two options. We can take a direct path for Aryan Road, or we can wait until we scatter the kingdom troops that are fanned out in the north. It is a most vexing decision. As a professional at staying holed up, I think we should secure the perimeter first and get rid of as much danger as we possibly can. Time is important. We should be striking fast and hard. Hmm. We're gonna have to deal with the north after we free Aryan Road anyway. So it makes sense to clear them out now and get it over with. Let's keep both options open and see how the situation unfolds. That's pretty much just a, do you want a Petra point or do you want a Bernadetta point? General Randolph. And we got a Petra point the last time that we did one of these, so. Yes, your majesty. Oh, hey, Randolph, I killed you. I commend you for holding Aryan Road with what few soldiers you had. Thank you, your majesty. But I am unworthy of such praise when I failed to prevent the siege. Coordination with Count Roe proved difficult. It was all I could do merely to keep the enemy in check. That alone is commendable. The more foolish man would have rushed to glory, and gotten himself and his underlings killed in the process. I have That's a true. role for you in the coming rescue, General. I know you were up to the task. Of course, Your Majesty. My brother and I will give our all. Oh, hey, Flesh. Very good. But do not let your eagerness for victory come at the cost of lives. We have many more battles ahead and must conduct ourselves accordingly. I forgot her name was Flesh, all things considering. Jesus Christ, it's still going. Leaping through documents, are we? This is new. Yeah, completely out of character, I know. But one of these reports has been stuck in my mind. Back when Count Roe declared fealty to the Empire, other lords committed to doing the same, right? But the moment we left and the Kingdom Army marched south, they fell right back in line. It's like they never betrayed Fargus in the first place. Good memory. That's exactly what happened. Houses Elidor and Duval both made overtures to join the Empire. So why is the Kingdom welcoming them back without so much as a wrist slap? Is this another House Gloucester thing where the politics demand it? Seems like their importance as noble families outstrips the fact they're all two-faced liars. Politics are doubtless involved, but the heads of houses can change, as they did with Gloucester. We're not bound to place importance on any one individual, only the bloodline. So the Kingdom's aristocracy gets the same free pass as the Alliance's? Yes, and the Empire's as well, even though I do my best to treat everyone equally. I cannot afford to slight a minister's house, for example. They broke fealty to the former prime minister when they swore it to me. Would you call that treachery? What makes it different from the actions of Count Gloucester? Hmm. I'm not sure. Creed makes it different. And I'd say betraying someone for money is lower than low. That's one way to look at it. I agree that what matters is the reason behind the change of heart. Was it for land? For status? To exact revenge or seize glory? Because I view a betrayal for any of those reasons to be utterly worthless. Yeah, money and vengeance are pretty shallow motives. Well, that's why I'm here. I'm not talking about mercenaries. I'm talking about lords. Each of their decisions has the ability to upend the lives of thousands, if not more. Yeah, they're supposed to be the ones in charge. Only a person with the character to realize that is truly fit to lead. I've worked for plenty of nobles in my time. Until now, I couldn't have cared less what it means to actually be one. But then you gave me responsibility over all of these soldiers, and it, well... I guess I'm starting to see the world in a different way. And the people who live in it, too. I see. I admit, your grand designs sail clear over my head sometimes. Most of the time, actually. But that's why I stand by you. I feel like one of these days, something important's gonna rub off on me. And I feel the same. You've opened my eyes to all manner of things I might never have seen otherwise. You are a commoner without the fetters of a family name, wielding your sword directly for me. That's more valuable than you may realize. Interesting. Okay. 
Oh my, that's a lot. So we've got plenty of different missions to go after on the war map, it looks like, for this next chapter. But uh, that's going to be it for this one. An award is available. Yeah, that's going to be it. Uh, that is quite a lot of <laughs> stuff to have to go through. Um, and I did not expect the cutscenes to last about 15-20 minutes after I beat the map, but they did. And <laughs> lesson learned. <laughs> we'll, we'll try and we'll try and keep that uh, keep it down le less than two hours this next time. But uh, yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, once again, in the next episode, we are going to start on chapter eight. I did look up to see how many chapters are in each of these routes, and there are 15 in total. So we're halfway done. Yeah, applause, everyone. We're halfway done. Um, but we got a, got a long road still ahead of us, and at least 16 more episodes left in the future. But that's for, ne that's for later. For now, once again, I will see you guys in the next part. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.